Hi everyone, it's Rebellious Rick here once again with another episode of Late to the Game and it's raining again never mind weather can't stop deliveries take a look at this that's an industrial condenser, 60 tons of it yes, it's another heavy load episode I don't think much of the colour but never mind, I don't have to look at it I just got to get it delivered. So let's get going. Now, <clears throat> as you can see, we are currently delivering uh, this from Surya to a place called, I think it's Turil or Turel, or something like that. It's about 200 miles away. Uh, and we need an escort. So, where is my escort? Maybe it's out here somewhere. Okay. Yes, there it is. See the van? Let's go. That's one heck of a roundabout. I hope I can negotiate this all right. Let's make sure I don't clip that wall. No, we're good, we're good. Oh, there's my escort. He's the rear escort. Yes, the, no, the, the forward escort's up there. And I'm holding up the traffic. Sorry, folks. I hate doing that. I hate doing it in real life, and I hate doing it in, doing it in simulation. Right. Okay, let's get going. Sorry. 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 Well, you get the idea, don't you, folks? Okay. Now, as before, if you saw the last episode, oh blimey, it looks like Coronation Street that lot. <laughs> I've not seen Coronation Street for ages. If I'm wrong, please correct me. And anyway, as I was saying, as before, I've got to keep pace with my escort. Don't exceed the speed limit, and uh, well, stay behind him basically. I get right of way everywhere. So nothing can hold me up. I can, I can just keep going. Uh, I think this is my second episode of uh, my um, tour of Spain. I think it's episode two. I've done that many. I'm fairly certain. Uh, I think this is the first time it's been raining since I've been in Spain. The rain in Spain stays mainly on the plane. And all over my truck, as it would seem. Okay. Uh oh. An incline. This will be entertaining. This is 60 tons I've got to pull. And I'm slowing down. But I'm holding, thankfully. 14, 15 miles an hour. Good. Do not want to catch that um, escort vehicle that's uh, stopping traffic. Oh, will you look at that sky. It's not, it's not so bad over there, but we're driving into it, aren't we? This could be in for the rest of the day. And seeing as it's half past seven, Wednesday, and we're not going to get there till the early hours Thursday morning. Gone midnight, it's probably going to around about, I'd say, what? Half past, quarter to one. The way the weather is. We'll just put, we'll just put cruise, con uh, cruise control on there. It should hold for around about 37 miles an hour. No, it's exceeding. Ah, it's because I'm on an incline. Let's just take it off, slow down a bit. We don't want to crash into the front escort, do we? There we go. 35, there we go. Right, now lock it off. Is that okay? Yeah, that looks all right. Well, it looks like we're gonna see some Spanish scenery. 
albeit in the wet. Looks nice. As usual, as I said before, I, I, did, I think I, I really like this map. <clears throat> Why can't we go over there? It looks so much better than what we're driving into. Well, how's Cooper? Still asleep? Ah. Looks brighter. Still cloudy, but brighter. Yep. Flash of lightning. Oh dear. Ooh, let's try and keep it straight, Richard. Thank you. <clears throat> I was just about to say before that car turned up, you get the feeling like you're the only one on the road. Have you had that, ever had that? You're driving around, usually late at night or on an early Sunday morning, you just feel like you don't see any other cars, any other traffic. You think, am I the only human being alive? Where is everyone? It's like they all know something you don't. Damn, that's a big load. Let's try and stay in this right hand lane. Not like anything's on coming. Uh oh, I think we're on an incline here. We're speeding up a bit. Let's just take it down a bit. There we go. Let's keep it there a moment. No, nope, we're speeding up again. Or is he slowing down? He's slowing down. That's why. Speed limit's changed. We're going through what appears to be some sort of little village. A little hamlet. So let's slow right down. Blimey, look at that fog. Hope it doesn't get any worse. Cooper, relax, don't worry, you're in good hands. Looks a little bit misty in the cab, actually. <laughs> Better keep an eye on temperature for a while. Oh, look at this weather, it's awful. It's overcast now. See, there are ETS2 drivers out there that like this kind of precision driving, keeping the right speed, um, taking care of heavy loads, driving nice and easy, taking in the scenery. Not me. I just want to get there. Whoop. Easy. Careful. Well done. You do forget uh, sometimes how much of a load you have when you're doing this um, heavy duty work. Some of the loads are just like heavy. Others are bulky and they do hang over as does this condenser. You can see just how much it hangs over the, uh, the middle white line. <clears throat> it's going off. The weather's going off. It, it's clearing up. Yes, it's still a bit murky over there, but the sunshine <laughs> from somewhere. 
Oh, that's a relief. Bit better. This is a nice little. Looks like a bit of an industrial area. What we're going through. <coughs> Thank you. Stopping. I bet he doesn't stop, he sails straight through. Yep, there he goes. Oh, nearly missed that right turn there. <coughs> and we're driving into the uh, the murky dark of a heavily laden rain sky. Could it be it's going to start chucking it down again? I hope not. Better get behind this guy, otherwise they'll uh, penalise me. Even though we're going to join this lane in a minute, there we go. Don't need to worry about oncoming traffic, it's all being held up. Come on. I know it's a, only a slight incline, but you can do it. We'll lock it off there. Blimey, it's 10 o'clock already. No wonder it's so grim. Okay. Going right around here, so slow it right down. Leaving the motorway again. That's a freeway if you're in America. Ooh. Don't think I've done too many of these escort jobs at night. Not that I can recall. And I've just noticed when I got really close to that front escort van that, can you see that little LED lighting all around the uh, the frame of the vehicle? Like that touch. That's nice. I am just destroying all those um, posts, those green posts as I come round that roundabout. Obviously the town planners did not have me in mind when they put those there. <coughs> Food for thought. Is this another roundabout? Yeah it is, I thought it might have been a junction. Well, hopefully no destruction this time. No. Round we go. A very windy course we've got um, today. I don't think there's any main like motorways um, between here and our destination so we're having to cut through all these little hamlets and villages this is a pleasant one slow right down again Richard you, you can't go through tearing through here oh look at all this nice it's all pleasing brickwork and lighting Could be in rural Lancashire. How are we doing? Oh, less than 100 miles to go, so we're uh, just over halfway there. <clears throat> and as predicted, we've lost a lot of time. It's going to be from probably about half one in the morning by the time we get there. When's this actually due? I oh, not until quarter past three Thursday, so. I think we'll make that. 
per riding I don't get any unpredicted obstructions it can happen <clears throat> not much in the way of lighting Normally, across Europe um, and in the UK, when driving at night, most roads are, well, many roads, shall I say, are well lit. This Spanish map, not so. I mean, we've got lighting here, which is nice. I can see what I'm doing. Slow down, Richard. Another little village. Yeah, but um, out on the open road, not so much lighting. So at night you are completely dependent upon your own lights and other people's lights. A bit disconcerting. Let's try not knocking over any posts this time, Richard. Not bad. This place must have made their uh, roads a bit wider, a bit more accommodating. Back up to 37, quick as you can Richard. Oh, no point, more turns. This is slowing us right down. I don't want to crash into that car parked up. Silly place to park a car. Don't they know people are transporting 60 ton condensers here? Thanks boys for holding all the traffic up. All one piece of traffic that isn't here yet. Evening. Nice night for it, eh? <clears throat> well, um, right, are we going back on the main road now? I certainly hope so. Oh yes we are. You can tell. No lights. That's an interesting thing. What's that? It's not like... Oh, there, there it is. It's unusual. Whoa. Try and find out what that is in a later episode. Come on, hurry up, join the lane. I wonder why he, he, he rides that lane right up to the end. There's no need. I suppose that's the AI for you of this game. Okay. Would be nice to see what's out there. Is it ocean? I don't think it's ocean. I was going to say it's ocean. I don't think it is. I don't think we're anywhere near the coast. Must be like open land, grassland. You tend to waffle on when you're on your own in a cab at night. I mean, he's not much of a conversationist, are you? Even when he is awake. We're talking about you, Cooper. Still, it could be worse. It could be one of those cats that jump onto your lap or your desk when you're trying to work continually wanting attention or food or wants to be let out at least he's relatively quiet less than 50 miles to go 47 miles actually 
Carl's just earned me eight and a half thousand. Thank you. And has he leveled up? Yes, he has. Well done, Carl. I really must see about replacing some trucks, upgrading them. The problem is, it's such a massive task when you get that many garages and get that many drivers. It's incredibly laborious and repetitive. Not to mention expensive. I'm just wondering if, if one of these continual upgrades that uh, SES do might as well just make it easier for you to purchase trucks on bulk for your drivers. I mean, you can do that in real life. Why can't you do it in the game? Okay, we are nearing our destination, believe it or not. Yeah, Teruel, I think it's pronounced. Teruel. Somebody correct me, please, if it's wrong. Although, we're not actually delivering in the town or the city per se. No doubt we're delivering to the uh, the industrial area on the outskirts which is a further 30 miles. Ooh. Tight going round here, nice and easy. There we go. To rule discovered. So that's how another city marks off. Feels like we're on another incline here. Blinking flip it's dark. I wonder if he'd be bothered if I put me the main beams on. Yeah, you'd be bothered. You won't like that, will he? Let's just leave it off. Villa Star. I wonder if that's the... Uh, I was going to say, that's the industrial area of this town, but I don't think it is. I think it's uh, a little hamlet on the outskirts. Slow down again, Richard. Traffic oncoming. Lovely maps, I'm sure, if you could see them. Well, they've got the essential signage, safety signage covered, I suppose. That's the important thing. I think maybe, yeah, it's going to be around about quarter past two in the morning by the time I get there. I might um, take a leaf out of Cooper's book and catch some Z's. Get some sh shut eye. Hopefully, in the daylight, I can see more of this place in the cold light of day. See what it's like. I'm sure it's pretty. It's a nice map. The end is in sight. We are, what, six miles away? Not too far now, not too long. Well, my escorts have done a wonderful job. Thank you, people. too long to go and as usual is my escort going to leave me at the road and I proceed myself or is he gonna take me all the way in let's find out let's take a wide berth on this road 
around we go. Safe and sound. Now this looks like a bit of a sharp right coming up. I do hope I can manage it. Let's move over to this side of the road for it. I don't care what the escort truck says, oh you're out of position. I don't care. Don't do that. Don't just Yes, 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 I can hear you. I'm getting there. I'm just getting ready for the turn, aren't I? See, I'm, I'm looking at that mirror over there, I can't see anything. Neither use an ornament that much like you. Where are you? Are you there? Yeah, he's there, alright. Alright, let's get back over. <clears throat> yep, yeah, he's going to take me all the way in. That's fine. Nice and easy around here. Mind that bus. And we're there. Yeah, he's leaving me there. Okay. Good. No, nope, not good. It's <laughs> taking another job. I keep doing that. Straight in. Right, where do you want it? Over there. As usual, the media are here waiting for me. Hello, folks. Autographs later. Got a truck to park first. Sorry I'm a bit late. There we go. Okay, let's get rid of it. Excellent. Flawless. It should be, or it's driving slow enough. Thanks for watching folks, I just wish it was a bit lighter, we could see a bit more, never mind. Sometimes these night deliveries, they make a change. I was going to say at least, at least it wasn't raining but it was. Well, the condenser's gone, as have the media, leaving me here. Brakes on, lights off, engine off. And I'll be uh, nodding off, I think. Get some shut eye here. Thanks for watching, everyone. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. And keep on trucking.